You got a cap. Get your name and what did you see here today? First and last name? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Start? Yeah. Uh, my name is Dave Battle, Farmers Insurance. We're one block over. We were in the parking lot and there was a huge black uh, mushroom cloud came up and we saw that and then we came running over. So about five, ten minutes ago. Okay, and what did you see when you got here? We saw all of the, obviously all the fire trucks were here, the police trucks were here and it was all cordoned off already. So. We were over here within two minutes after we saw the black mushroom cloud. And did you hear anything beforehand? Did you hear like a plane uh, sputtering or? We, we did not. We, we were inside our office and then we saw the huge black mushroom cloud and then we came out. Okay. And then the cloud went out in about a minute, 30 seconds, it was done. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay, can I have your first and last name, please? Uh, Kevin Kelly. Okay, and what did you see here today? Uh, we saw the plane come over our head and we heard an engine pop and he banked hard right and looked like he was going down so we walked out we saw smoke drove over here fire extinguisher but it was everything was already mangled and in, in flames 
fire extinguisher didn't help at all. Okay, and you said you heard a pop. Uh, was it? Is that like an it's engine, that engine blew pop, or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. After 3 p.m., the Los Angeles Fire Department responded to an aircraft down incident at the 7,000 block of Havenhurst Avenue in Lake Balboa. Firefighters arrived on scene. We did, in fact, have a single engine fixed wing aircraft that reportedly had come straight down, landing in a parking lot just behind us, which is west of the Van Nuys Airport. When we arrived on scene, there was fire. Our firefighters jumped into action, pulled the hose line, were able to quickly extinguish the flames. The nearby structures were not damaged. Three vehicles did suffer minor damage. And now the long tail investigation as to what led up to this tragic incident, of which two people were, at least two people were found dead inside, will ultimately come from FAA and NTSB, and we're working very close with our friends from LAWA as well. One of the witnesses said that there was only one One of the witnesses told us that the captain or the pilot was a female and only one person was playing. Any truth to that? Uh, we have at least two bodies, unknown age or gender, and that debris pile, which is significant, has to be combed through for us to determine any additional information. And we're not going to do that until um, FAA and NTSB is here. We will have the fire department remain on scene. Uh, due to fuel potentially leaking, and they obviously put out the fire that happened originally. And then they might have additional information once the other agencies come.